Welcome to Wine Talk. I'm Robert Stelmachek and today I'm going to disarm another wine term that you're going to see quite often and basically tell you what it means to your mouth. Before I do that, I want to remind you, please turn on your notifications and subscribe to the YouTube and follow me on Instagram. I've got a lot of super fun content coming and I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback from it. Today's term we're going to talk about, old vines. That's something for sure you're going to see, but you got to think, what does it really mean? Well, I think to understand that properly, you need to know a little bit about the lifeline of a vine. When you first plant a vine, it takes about three years for it to actually produce fruit that you can really make wine from. And around year eight, it turns into what they call a mature vine. It goes considerably older than that. And I think when it gets into that territory, two important things happen. One, yield goes down. What's the yield? Well, think of it as this. Every vine can only produce X bunches of grapes. 8, 10, 20, whatever it is for that particular grape. The older it gets, the less bunches that it's going to be able to produce, and that kind of will amp up the concentration of that wine. Second thing that happens is the roots of the vine will go deeper. The deeper it goes, the more different kinds of soil that it'll go through searching for nourishment. When it does that, it's going to pick up more and more complexity. So, yields go down, concentration goes up, roots go down, complexity goes up. It's kind of basically what it is in a nutshell. Think of it as a regular car versus an all-wheel drive. Think of it as a classic Billie Holiday song versus the Verve remix version of it or something. There's a lot of ways that you can translate. If you ever have an opportunity to buy one of each, same wine, one regular, one old wine, some taste them side by side, I'd love to hear from you and get your exact feedback of what you experienced. There's not really an educational body or sorry, governing body that rules how old those vines have to be. There are a few in the world. Australia has the Barossa Old Vines Charter where they have four amazing categories and the vines have to be in each category, either 35, 70, 100 or 125 years old. Um, South Africa also has the, uh, the Old Vines Project where the vines have to be minimum 35 years old to bear the label, sorry, the seal on the label. And even Chile, just for the Carignan grape, has the Vigno project as well. So keep in mind that depending where the wine is from, old vines is going to look different on the label. For example, in France, you'll see the term Via Vin. In Italy, Vecchia Viti. Um, Spain and Portugal have Vigna Viejas. And even in Germany, you'll see Alt Reben on the label. Kind of important to know. Um, and the only other thing I really wanted to mention is the cool wine fact today. The oldest vines on the planet, over 400 years old, still producing wine. And the vine is actually attached to the side of a house of all things. Now I've never had this wine, but it comes from Slovenia. It's a grape called Zametovka. And if you want to send me a bottle, I'll gladly do an episode of Bottle Talk on it. I hope this helped. I hope you learned something today. Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching.